The government pledging to ensure Bahamians who qualify for college can afford to get an education. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Altavis Munnings. I'm Kish Latterly. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Well, topping the news, it's been the cry of many Bahamians st students wanting to pursue tertiary level education. And that is the cost of education, which has stopped many of them from realizing that dream. But the nation's leader says government is commitment committed to affording this opportunity to all deserving Bahamians. Clint Watson explains. When the government says it's committed to doubling its investment in education, that was no joke. Not only has the Christie administration demonstrated its ability to make good on that promise, but according to Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie, they want to take that commitment a step further, particularly for those Bahamian students who want to pursue a college-level education but may fall short on the financing. Mr. Christie acknowledged that what the Bahamas has faced over the years is an unqualified, unproductive, and unskilled workforce that has made it difficult to produce quality service, not only in tourism, but in other sectors. The country cannot afford to allow that to seep into our system. So wherever children are qualified and are able to go to university, the country ought to find a way to facilitate that, and my government will. The Prime Minister says he also expects more to be done nationwide to encourage young people to pursue higher education, noting that the future of the country is depending on a well-qualified and trained workforce. He says a commitment to education will continue to call for more and more resources, resources that he is prepared to commit. I expect children to be incentivized to know that the government will continue to increase the allocation to scholarships. We've moved, um, as you heard, up to around 14 million, doubling 14, 15 million dollars, doubling the amount that was given by our predecessors. And, and we will continue that towards ensuring that a child that is capable will have the opportunity not to have the education delayed or stopped or prevented because they do not have the money. But the commitment by the government to higher education is not just through university or the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute. Under the Christie administration, the National Training Agency was established to prepare those heading to the work market but may lack skills beyond high school by providing free training. Executive Director Agatha Marcel says they are trying to improve employability in the workplace. The government of Bahamas has honestly done a very good thing by allowing the establishment of this agency. They don't have to pay a dime. It's all free, they get the best. And I want to tell them that they are trained by the best in the industry, the very best, I'm serious. And that is why they can be employed at the best places in the industry. Meantime, the government is also partnering with the private sector to provide more scholarship and training opportunities in non-traditional areas like technical and vocational careers. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.